Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Polybridge. As always, thank you for all of the support and feedback on the previous episode. And uh, I did some really derpy things in that one, didn't I? <laughs> that last puzzle that we had, if you remember, it's actually gone now when we click on the world, you'll see here. It's empty. But this one right here, we had the uh, issue with the hydraulics in the middle. And in the episode before, I learned that you can do this. And then I forgot about it, which is kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous. What did you expect? <laughs> this this game brings out the worst of me, but I love it. It's so much fun, and you guys have been really enjoying it, so I think everything is good. Um, I have an idea for this one right here, that we should go up a little bit like that on either side, and then we should go all the way across. So let's do just that. Let's see where these are going to meet in the middle. Oh, and it's me being a derp here. Look, we got a... Oh! Okay, that's a good thing that was a straight line. <laughs> yeah, we want to click over here drag it out nice and easy like that. It just doesn't quite connect. So we've got to make some adjustments somewhere. Let's get rid of all of that. Let's bring this one across this way. Okay, and then let's say here, it's a little bit shorter. Then they can meet in the middle. Nice. And that's where our drawbridge is going to go. So this way we sort of sidestep um, the whole <laughs> having drawbridges over here. Now something funny just crossed my mind. That was, I was going to have the support underneath, but of course it'll go through the red area. So the support's got to be above, that means it's going to be a little bit different than usual. However, I think I know how we're going to pull this off. So let's go with wood and create a frame that's not the largest. Am I putting that in the wrong place? I am. I need to be across by one. And back again. A lot of you have been asking for me to play with the grid off. I really like the grid because it means you put everything like in an exact position. And so they're always going to be like relative to one another. Uh, but we'll do an episode perhaps with the grid off at some point. Okay, so we've reached our little bit right here where it's slightly shorter. That's absolutely fine. And is it me or is that a little bit too high? Could just be a bit too high here. Let's just whack them all down real quick. And then we can double check this. So when you click on site, you can see the little line going across, which is ever so useful. Um, so we can drag that into the right position. So that's all at the right height. And then I think that goes back by one. And we connect it all up. Awesome. Right, so then what we're going to do is add two big supports. Uh, initially, I was picturing these going up above and then cables suspending down, which we have access to. And suspension. You are probably supposed to build a suspension uh, bridge. We've also got steel. And looking at our budget being so massive, I am sure you could get away with doing this <laughs> probably with wood if you were to build like a sturdy little system here. Let's, uh, let's see how far across we can go. Nah, they're really too far to build. Well, actually, no. You might be able to build like a box. And then a, a joint in the middle. And then that might be sturdy enough to hold whatever's up above it. So if that can reach to that one, it's not going to reach to that. See, this is where it's more desirable to have steel. But I know it's not going to hold it up all the way. Let's just connect that and quickly see once again. I mean, it looks like it was going to hold that part of the bridge up, right? So why don't we try and uh, I'll mirror this on the other side. I was just thinking, if this works, it's probably going to be the most ridiculously simple bridge. <laughs> Not what they were intended. Let's start the simulation. Already a little bit of wobble. I'm thinking uh, that a lot of the tension on this side is kind of propped up by that connection. Although the stress doesn't go there. The stress seems to go down underneath. Let's zoom in a little. We never do that. So that's actually holding out, which is really cool. That might not be far enough, but we can always fix that. So here come the boats. Oh, I thought it was going to make it. All right, so we now know, we've now learned something. Contract, oh, 50 is like the furthest back. So expanding would, I wonder if you can like, if it expands, would it drop down? And you could sort of push it down below? Probably not. Um, so if we contract, we can only contract less. So we do have to connect that to something else, which isn't a problem. Let's go grab uh, our hydraulics. Oh, that's a little bit out of the way. Of course it is. What else would it be? Can we move that across by one? Probably not. All right, let's just move that back to there. <laughs> that's really cheeky. That looks really cheeky. But let's see if we can hold it up. <laughs> I don't think this car can make it across. Let's see. No, it's actually holding out. This guy's a lot lighter than the second car. Alright, so here we go. 
Up it goes. That looks good enough to me. That looks well and truly good enough. So here comes the boats and the miniature boats as well. Oh, it knocks them off. They are probably just ever so slightly too close, aren't they? Let's see how the second car does when it goes across. Ooh, <laughs> just about. Oh, and into the water. Splash. Okay, um, right. So, I don't believe the road surface can go... Can we not place any more road? Do I have to... I have to start from a point, apparently. So, if the point's the middle, the further... Oh, you can come out a little bit further, so... Actually, this might be a case of just holding down shift. And that might be enough. I've got a feeling that's going to give way now. Let's speed this one up a little bit. 200%. Off you go. Let's see a little bit of tension back here. And that should hopefully be enough. Yes, it's enough. Amazing. Right, so we go back to 100% speed or... 110 then, <laughs> since it can't decide. So how's the uh, second car going to do here? Oh, it went to red. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's actually holding out. That is amazing! Now I know some of you will be thinking, no way, like, that that's a terrible bridge. Um, but I, I love it. Look at this. Well under the budget by, like, 40,000. And I'm really happy with that. That was really cool. <laughs> and we kind of did that first time. Almost. Sort of. Had to tweak it a little bit. But the concept was there. Anyway. Hint. Use rocks to your advantage. You can build around them for support. Interesting. 20 metre double overpass. Smallish budget. And the only material is wood. Not even road? I guess road doesn't need to be listed, does it? Um, so what did it say about the rock? I think it's referring to this, although there's like a patch of rocks over here. No, it's, it's referring to this. So I think what it's saying is uh, we can build a support of it. So let's go... We have, we know we have no um, means of going above this. Let's go like that. So, means of going above this, come on. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say <laughs> we, uh, we don't have hydraulics. Right, so that's going to meet in the middle somewhere different. Uh, that'll do just fine. So from here, I think what we need to do is like build... Oh, it doesn't like me going too close, does it? Now this is going to drop down. <laughs> too far away. Let's come back a little bit. Yeah, it's going to drop straight down. Which means the whole the whole road is gonna drop down a little bit as well. Are we not allowed to move that even a, like a little bit further out? Let's say we remove those. What's the closest we can get to the rock? That actually looks a little bit closer, doesn't it? So let's remove all of these connections. Right, and then can we put another one like here? So we can do that, and you can see there it just drops down a little bit. So at least that's probably. A little bit better to start with. And let's just build upon this. I've already got a different idea here. And I'm kind of thinking I'd like to play this out. But I don't think it's going to go down too well at all. I mean, <laughs> as we extend this out further, it's all going to just drop down a little bit. And I see that being a problem. So I think what we want to do is perhaps build our support on top. Going all the way over. Kind of like an arc. So we'll do the, we'll do the triangle structure like we've always done. But we'll also extend it down the side here somehow. Which might not be that difficult if we get the thing just right. So if they're a little closer together, that might work. And I think in order to do that, they've also got to be a little bit lower. Hmm, or maybe I just move these ones over a little bit more. I'll figure out a way. Anyway, we'll have that go all the way across. And then in the middle, we'll build like a prop that drops down. And hopefully it won't be too too far down for this to like lose its integrity. We'll see. Okay, just putting in the finishing touches now. Let's make that go straight up. This is actually all like symmetrical here as well, by the way. So the entire thing is symmetrical. And we've just, just a little bit gone over our budget. Let's see what happens. It kind of works. It actually worked. Oh my god, I thought it was going to break somewhere there. Sweet. Um, oh, and then it breaks. It breaks a little while after. Let's, let's do that again. What happened there? How fast does this go as well? 300%. <laughs> I 
and it breaks off. That is that is really strange, but I'll take that. So a little bit over our budget. We'll have to come back and do that one. Do you know what? Actually, no. If I'm going to come back and do them again, I've got to build the whole thing over. So let's actually just try and trim this down a touch. Like, what if we were to move this down? Does that use less wood? It does. It does. So if we just move like this and this, now we're in budget. Let's see if that, that can do it. It does, and... The thing doesn't... Oh, it does. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So we just went under budget. That's fantastic. That was a really fun one. Let's go have a look at the next. Um, so we learned something there. We must not forget we can use the rocks. Um, so it's a 24 metre double drawbridge. We've got wood, steel, piston and cable. Uh, how much of each? Right, so a limited amount of cables, unlimited hydraulics and a limited amount of steel. Fair enough. Once again, there's a rock down here. Can't help but feel that'll be important. Anyway, I think for this one, I'm just gonna like like check in and see what's going on here for a second. Oh, I had this idea. It was a really bad one. Um, that we go down low, <laughs> and I don't even know what I was thinking here. We create either some sort of arc going across or um, something underneath. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, you got a maximum amount of roads. So that was a completely useless idea. I was thinking we could prop the road off of uh, this down here. I don't know if we can actually like place stuff into the water. Wow, I should have checked that first. Yes, you can. Okay, so you can actually put support beams into the water. That is good to know. So, if we're uh, not going to do that, then I'm not sure how we're going to set it up. By the way, uh, these aren't even either. You can see one on the other side is a little bit further away. Here's another thing with the roads. This is like the maximum uh, amount of roads you can use and it goes from one side to the other. You can't resize this in any way to make it so that there's uh, a split joint in the middle. So I was thinking, how on earth are we going to do this? And then I was thinking back to one of the levels we did... Hey, I'm double clicking you! <laughs> I was thinking back to one of the levels that we did a while back and how we you know, used hydraulics and stuff to move the bridge around in crazy, crazy ways. So at first I was thinking, alright, so we build some sort of like frame like this and then we have like a big arcing frame going over the top and then we like pull it up the entire section. Don't think we're going to be able to do that with the materials that we have. Um, so I think what we're going to have to do is maybe split it in the middle and have it so that it kind of pulls up from either side, but that's going to be crazy because there's not a lot of room to do that with, so... <laughs> Yeah, this is one of those ones where I'm going to be pondering a lot and like looking and thinking. So we'll make a cut here. And I'll come back when I got something. All right, so this isn't really going anywhere, but I thought I'd show you what I've been playing around with. So there's an anchor point over here that I missed, and uh, I think what you've got to do is sort of suspend the bridge like this. Maybe pull it up, put it back down, and then same thing on the other side. However. <laughs> It, it, this this bridge is so fragile, I don't know how we're going to pull that off. And at the moment, the actual problem is back here with this cable, it's just not strong enough. So, what I just did a second ago is add this little thing down here, which I don't think is going to be part of the final solution, but it kind of props the bridge up, so we can at least test it a little bit. And you'll see, as soon as there's like tension around here, look at that, bang, snap, <laughs> see you later. Um, so maybe that's not the way to go. Now what we can do with our steel is bring it straight up, or back a little bit and connect it to that one as well but then the cable's got a different angle so this time let's connect one every other that means one all the way down the end there and I'm not really sure how much help it's going to be when it's all slacked like that but I mean at least that's making something happen and it's getting all the way across all right interesting let's stop the simulation um, so that I was hoping would pull it backwards and up and it's going to contract, so I guess as soon as this goes, that loses all of its momentum. So maybe what you need is a little bit of, uh, let's get... See, I don't know what this is going to like... Like, we can't just prop something up like that because it will fall over. I don't know where it's going to get its uh, strength from. Maybe from itself if we come back like this. Alright, oh, can't create any more steel. Let's just try this with wood. This is going to fail miserably now. I don't know how this is going to work. So let's say that's not hydraulics. Um, then where is the hydraulics? <laughs> no, that's just going to fall over. This is silly. Okay. Got to put the thinking cap back on. Alright, so um, we can make a little prop down the bottom here at least. 
and in theory then we could pull or contract this and then this bit would rise up but it just isn't strong enough let's speed it up a little bit more so this thing goes all the way to the other side I doubt any of this is going to stay as well by the way and then it all just breaks <laughs> so I'm just wondering if we were to use steel instead that would limit the amount we could use on the other side we can also go further down a lot which might help so where will it connect both think that'll be it. So now it's going to tilt down a little bit more and then it's still going to break. <laughs> Actually now that I look at it like all of the tension is going to go to this bit right here I think. Maybe we should make that steel as well. And hey we may be using, oh we can't even use anymore. <laughs> well now I'm not sure again. So this bridge is starting to look a little bit crazy. I uh, gave up on what I was doing before. I don't know how much of that I showed you, but we were trying to do this sort of thing on this side. And what I found is that all of the uh, tension basically diverted its way to the back of the bridge. And if you upgrade the little bits to steel, there just wasn't enough of it to hold it up. So I decided, well, what about the middle? We can sort of prop a thing up on here like the last level showed us we can do. I wonder if you can also make that like a little bit closer. That looks closer. <laughs> Um, and yeah, and so we're going to do it like this. So this little support should hold up that side and now what we're doing is trying to like curl all of this in. That bit right there isn't going to work because this is not hanging free. Um, so we're going to have to do it like this. I already know this doesn't work. I was going to change that bit to hydraulics but that wouldn't work at all. And I'm not sure what we can do to change this. But anyway, let's have a look. Gets pulled up. Along comes the boat. And I'll tell you now, it's going to fud right into the side of it. <laughs> Bang, see you later. So we need to pull it back a little bit further, and how we're going to do that, I actually had an idea while we were recording there, um, except I think I might have also forgotten it, which is not good. I think what we might do is bring the hydraulics like further back, like over here. That sounds like it could work. Let's, um, let's make a little triangle again. Hydraulics, connect to that bit. Actually, that doesn't look that much better now, does it? Well, the car can go across. And then I got a feeling this is just going to fall apart. Ah, looks... Oh! <laughs> well, partially works for a moment. We might be able to make that work for us. <laughs> oh, look at it. It falls out of the world. Brilliant. Alright, how does that look? <laughs> looks so whack, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I'll put a hydraulic over here. And I've got a feeling this thing's probably going to need a few more cables, right? By the way, we're under budget. Let's start the simulation. Speed 110%. That does not look good. Let's zoom in a little bit here. One makes it over, so now what's going to happen? Okay, this thing actually gets lifted back. That's quite incredible. And this thing is rocking back and forth here. That is nuts. <laughs> oh, something broke. That's not good. Oh, and I tell you what, it, it didn't look good there, but when the uh, the little bits join back together, it's fine. And we've actually done that. We've passed the level. That's probably my favourite bridge we've done so far. Look at that. Max joint stress, 103. Yeah, that's because something broke. <laughs> something else just broke. Amazing. All right, let's do one more level. What's this one going to be like? So it's an 18 metre school bus jump. Very low budget. I've got a feeling this is going to be one of those get the angle of the jump right things because you've got four pieces of road to use so let's start off with something like this that looks good now we've got to build the support for it um, so how much steel do we have here I think we're gonna go steel there steel there and then wood that's road we want wood maybe in three bits we can join it and then on this side, I think it's going to have to connect to that one just for a little bit of extra support. And then it can connect to those two. That kind of looks all right. Hey, I'm holding down shift. What's going on? No, I'm not. I'm pressing caps lock. <laughs> there we go. I feel like there's one more support it needs somewhere in there. But hey, let's see how that works. That looks really nice. <laughs> and it falls apart just like that. Okay, now with an extra web of wood in the middle, it's probably not going to do too much better, but it should be a little bit sturdier. 
No, I also don't think the angle's going to be that great, so it gets pushed back a lot. I feel like maybe we actually need to... Oh, we're well up. No, we're not well under our budget. We're just under our budget. Uh, maybe add a little something on this side as well. And now we've gone over budget. That sucks. We don't want to do that. Can we move this a little bit? No. Alright, we might have to rethink this one. Do you want to know something funny? I thought... Oh, we'll click Start Simulation and see what happens anyway. So we're over budget. We'll have to come back and do this under budget. But it makes it across the other side, which is pretty cool. Let's get this one under budget and then call it a day. Alright, that's that's all we need. Just rearranged a couple little bits here, made the road shorter, and it comes under budget. And it works. Check it out. All the way across. School bus jump. Amazing. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. As always, if you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. It helps out the channel, and the support is always appreciated. This is the next one. 20 meter split. <laughs> Looks a little bit crazy, doesn't it? Actually, I think we'll be able to do this one. Oh, I see what the catch is. A goes there, B goes there. Maybe we'll suffer. I don't know. I've got time to think about it. Anyway, as always, thanks you ever so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.